Hello and welcome to Crafternoon. I am Miss Mary and I'm here at the Pacific Grove Public Library and today we are making spinners. And I've made one and to do that I use a piece of paper, highlighters, and string 28 inches long, and cardboard. I made it doubly thick by using two pieces of cardboard. It seems to spin better when it's a little bit heavier. So I'll show you how this works. Um, you'll notice that there's kind of spots and rectangles and as I start to spin, all those spots and rectangles will kind of come together and it will make a pattern, like a spiral. So that's what we're doing today. I'll walk you through the steps. Um, you will need something as a template to make a circle. I've used masking tape and a piece of paper. Um, you'll also need scissors and a glue stick. And you can use markers or highlighters, anything you want to, to color your design. And then you'll need a pen to poke through um, the paper and cardboard to slide in the string. Okay, so I'll walk you through the steps. And to do that, I have, I have my paper, I have my template, which is going to be masking tape. And I'm just going to make a circle all the way around. like that. Okay, I've made my circle there. I also need cardboard um, that I can do the exact same thing. So when you have your circle, this is your chance to put any designs that you want on it. Um, you notice it made kind of a spiral pattern. Um, you can choose what you want. Rectangles, squares, you can even write your name, whatever you think would look great. You're just going to put as much or as little color as you'd like on your spinner and then when you finish you're just going to want to go ahead and cut it out so that you have a circle and that is what I can do now. So you're just going to cut it out and I'm sure you'll certainly put more color than I did. Do the best you can keeping that um, in a circular shape. If you notice that, oh, I've kind of made a mistake, you can just go back and you can trim so that is even and circular. Okay, we'll set those aside. Now I've got my piece of paper and if I realize, oh wait, I want to add more color, I can do that. Uh, maybe I'll add the first letter of my name. I can do that too. I can do whatever I'd like on here. I can even, as I mentioned, make a spiral. It's up to you. This is where you'll need your glue stick, right? Because you're going to be gluing this to the cardboard. All right. And um, mine, of course, has already been cut, but I'll show you what to do for that too. Okay, here's my cardboard. Once again, just like what we did with the paper, you're going to take your template and the pen and you're just going to trace. And if you go a little wide, that's no problem. You'll be able to cut it. And as I mentioned earlier, I made it thicker so that it was a bit heavier and it seemed to spin better. So I'm actually going to make two circles. and then I will just cut out both circles. And this is pretty thin cardboard. If you have thicker cardboard, you may not need to make two. And just like what I did with the paper, I'm just going to cut around the pen marks. And this should make a nice circle. And as you can see, I went a little wide, but that's okay because when I cut, I will certainly make sure that I cut 
on the circle, not on the part that I went outside. Okay, and as you can see, I've kind of just trimmed around. If you notice anything that's sticking out, feel free just to give a little trim. And then I would do the exact same thing for my next circle. And what I did to make it easy on myself, I actually just taped the two together so that it would look something like this. Imagine the excess is cut off. And that just kind of gave a little more heft. Um, once you have that, and let's just pretend for the camera that you've got both cut out, taped together, and now it's ready to go. So you're going to turn your design over to the back where it's blank, and you're just going to go ahead and cover it as much as you can with the glue. And if you'd rather use tape, that's fine too. Okay, and then once it is glued, um, feel free to go a little generous. You're going to place that on your circle. Okay, like so. Okay, so now I have my paper. Not so colorful. I bet yours will be. All right, like I said, oh, in fact, you can do any sort of design. I'll film this and while I have the chance. Okay. Now, the next part is a little bit tricky. Uh, you're going to want to find the center and you're going to place two small holes. I recommend using a pen. Some people use scissors. It's just how you think it will work best or what you feel comfortable doing. So I kind of think, oh, that looks about the center. I'm going to make a hole there. Please make sure that you're careful not to poke yourself. And just a little ways over, not very full at all. Press in again. Okay, make sure it goes through the back side. Just like that. And then what you need to do is you're going to take your string and thread it through the holes that you made. And remember that string is about 28 inches. And once you have it through, then you're good to go and you can spin your spinner. Well, I hope you learned about making spinners and I hope you enjoyed this craft. All right, have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.